Hello everyone. Are you ready for another story session with joy of reading? Today's story is Welcome to the Forest. The author of the story is Bhavna Menon, the illustrator is Kavita Singh Kale and the publisher is Pratham Books. Welcome to the Forest. The author or the writer of the story is Bhavna Menon. The illustrator or the person who has done the drawings is Kavita Singh Kali. Tamsa wishes she could visit a forest. Her teacher reads stories about tigers to the class. She loves to hear about forests and animals. This is Tulsa and she loves stories about forests and animals. One day, her wish comes true. Kare Chacha, a senior forest official, invites Tulsa and her friends to visit a forest called Kanha Tiger Reserve. Tulsa and her friends can't stop grinning. They will go to the forest for a whole day and a whole night. So they get an invitation from Kare Chacha, a senior forest official. Senior means someone who is experienced or who has been there in that job for a long time. They've been invited to this place called Kanha Tiger Reserve. A reserve or a sanctuary, as it otherwise called, is a place where an animal, in this case, it's a tiger reserve. So a tigers can live without any danger. Nobody can kill that animal. So it's a very safe place or home for animals to live. It's called a reserve or a sanctuary. Tulsa and her friends are very happy. So it says grinning. Grinning means smiling widely like this. Happily smiling widely. It takes four hours by bus from the school to the forest. As soon as Tulsa gets down from the bus, a strong hand shakes her hand and then ruffles her hair. Welcome to Kanha. It is Kare Chacha. So this forest reserve is not very close to their school. It is about four hours drive from their school. So as soon as Tulsa and her friends get down from the bus, they are being welcomed by Kare Chacha. This is Kare Chacha. So here it says ruffles. Ruffles means doing like this to somebody's hair. Fondly or lovingly doing like this is called ruffles, her hair. Tulsa and her friends Rani, Mittu and Dipti stay close to one another. Sniff the air. It smells of trees and leaves, says Mittu. The air is clean, like it has been washed with soap, adds Rani. Sniff the air. Sniff means breathing like this, sniffing. You are trying to smell. They are trying to smell the air. And Mittu says it smells of trees and leaves. Rani feels that it is so clean that it looks like it has been washed with soap. It is almost sunset now. Kare Chacha and other forest officials tell them about the forest they will visit tomorrow. They play the sounds of animals and birds for the girls to hear and recognize. So here with the tape recorder, they're trying to make all the sounds the different animals in that forest will make and uh, asking the girls to recognize them. It's a peacock. I know it is a barking deer. That is the sound of crickets. Next day, Tulsa wakes up at five in the morning. It is cold. 
everyone bundles up in warm clothes. One by one, they get into the bus. All around us, there is tall grass covered in a thick blanket of fog. Ranveer uncle, the forest guy, tells them. Tulsa can feel the cold and pure air in her mouth. It tastes like mint leaves. You all know what a peacock is, right? It's the national bird of our country. So this is a barking deer. He says, this is a bark. What is a barking deer? It's a small deer, which when sounds, it looks like a dog's bark. So it's a barking deer. And key, key is the sound of crickets. Crickets are these small insects. You can hear them in the night. And then they all, the girls wake up very early in the morning, five in the morning. When they wake up, they know it's so cold. So what do they do? They are bundling themselves in warm clothes, meaning they're putting one layer after another to make themselves warm. Then Ranveer uncle, their forest guide says, the forest now is covered with thick blanket of fog. Thick blanket, like fog. Do you know what fog is? You cannot see clearly. It's like mist. There is so much water vapor in the air. That is called fog. Early morning, you could have seen it. That you won't be able to see anything because of the fog. Shh! Ranmir uncle whispers. There are two jackals right next to our bus. Everyone listens carefully. They hear the rustling sound of the tall grass. Dried leaves crush under their feet as the jackals run lightly into the dense forest. Ranveer uncle shushes them, saying, there are two jackals. He has spotted two jackals right next to their bus. Now everybody wants to hear what the jackals would sound like. They can hear the rustling sound. Do you know what rustling sound is? Rustling sound is the sound that you get when you uh, stand on dry leaf or when two papers move against one another. The sound that you get, right? That is what is called a rustling sound. There, are, there is so much dried leaves on the forest floor, right? So when the jackals walk on it, it causes that rustling sound. Ranveer uncle whispers again. A big deer called Sambar is standing on the left side of the road. The deer is brown and has big stem-like horns called antlers on its head. Everyone focuses to their left. Honk! Honk! The Sambar runs off. Sounds like a very big horn, says Talsa. All the girls laugh. So what happens now? Ranveer uncle has now spotted a sambar, a large deer. Look at this. It has beautiful brown skin and it has two large horns on its head. And these horns are called antlers. Horns mean like this, what the deer has. That is also a horn. What is the other horn that you know of? It's the horn that you have in a, in a bus or a truck, right? When the samba runs off, it makes a loud noise. So Tulsa says it sounds like a very big horn, like the horn of a, of a truck or a bus. And all the girls laugh. Soon, the air becomes even cooler. We are near a river now, Ranveer uncle says. Tulsa can hear the gurgling of the water. So many birds are calling from the trees. As they walk further, they are feeling a little colder, cooler. So immediately Ranveer uncle says that there is a river nearby. We are near a river, he says. And Talsa can hear the gurgling of the water. This gurgling is the sound. When the river flows, the water makes some noise, right? That is called gurgling of water. one is whistling, says Rashmi. Yes, Rashmi, that is the call of a trash, says Ranveer uncle. Keej! Keej! And 
that screeching you hear is the call of a jungle babbler. So they are saying more birds. Call is the sound that a bird makes. Birds call, we say. Screeching. Screeching means a loud voice, loud sound. Screeching voice, loud shrill sound. Soft leaves fall from above. Baby monkeys are showering them with leaves. Tulsa picks up a leaf that falls on her. It smells fresh and pure, just like the forest. So when the baby monkeys jump from one branch to another, what happens? The leaves are falling from the trees and one lands on Tulsa as well. You know what a shower is in the in, in bathrooms, water from a tap falling on our head. That is called showering. Showering. It is falling on top of us. The bus starts moving uphill. Hold this creeper. See how it feels like a strong rope. The leaves are like cotton. Everyone takes turns to hold the creeper. This is the mahul, says Ramvir Uncle. The leaves are used to make small bowls. So the bus starts to move. They can feel a creeper. The creeper is a plant that grows like this. It holds on to a tree or a fence and it grows along that creeper or a climber. It climbs along some support. So and the creeper's stem is like a strong rope. And the leaves are so soft and it's that's like cotton. So Ranveer uncle says that that is the mahul creeper. Peacock to your right. Ranveer uncle is excited. Is he dancing? Asks Tulsa. Yes, uncle says. His feathers are shining in the winter sun and are sparkling like gemstones. Beautiful, says Tulsa. They could hear the peacock to the right of their bus. And uncle explains how beautifully the peacock is dancing. He says the feathers are shining. Sparkling. Sparkling means that's also shining like gemstones. Gemstones are precious stones like ruby, all these uh, things that you find in jewelry, right? That sparkle, that are so shining, right? Those are called gemstones. By now, everyone is very hungry. They stop at the forest camp for breakfast. There, Kare Chacha announces a surprise. Some of our camp elephants are here. They won't mind if you touch them gently. Everyone starts squealing in delight. Soon, Tulsa is led to the elephant Tara. So now everyone's hungry after the safari. So they stop at the forest camp. There, Kari Chacha announces he has a surprise for the girls. He says that the camp has a few elephants and they've all come to see the girls. Everyone starts squealing in delight. Squealing is like screaming. In delight mean happy. They're so happy. They're like, oh, they're so happy. They're so, they're screaming in delight. Soon, Tulsa meets this elephant named Tara. The guide places her hand on Tara's prickly stomach. Oh, Tulsa hears the sound of Tara's feet moving. Tulsa can feel the powerful muscles under her hand. Trumpeting softly, Tara places her trunk in Tulsa's hand, looking for food. Tulsa cannot stop smiling as she feels the wet trunk. It is time to go back. On the way, they pass a gar. The gar is chewing grass. The body is black, but the bottoms of the legs are white. It looks like the gar is wearing socks, says Ranvi Rankal. Everyone laughs. Suddenly, the air is split by a call deep and loud. So what happens? Ranvi uncle now places Tulsa's hand on the elephant's stomach. 
prickly stomach. Elephants don't have soft skin. They have rough, prickly meaning pokey pokey. They are with like thorns. It's very rough. And Talsa can hear the elephant moving. She could feel it. Trumpeting softly. Trumpeting softly meaning an elephant when it makes a noise, it's called trumpeting. Elephant sound is called trumpeting. So softly it is making a sound and it is licking Talsa's hand, looking for food. But now it's time's up for them. They have to go back. So what happens? Now they, on the way, they see a gar. A gar is called an Indian bison. It looks like a large buffalo. So that's called a gar. So gar is chewing grass. What will a bison or a buffalo eat? Grass. So the body of the bison is all black. The bottom of the legs are white. So it is very funny. It looks like the gar is wearing socks. And suddenly what happens? They are hearing a very deep and loud sound of an animal. Let's see who that is. Oh! The call comes again. The tiger is very far, explains Ranvir uncle. But he has probably seen you and wants you to know that. Ah, the deep call is that of a tiger. But Ranveer uncle says that he's probably very far. He's not close by. Look here, this is the gar. This is the tiger and this is the gar. Look at its legs. It's all white, like it's wearing socks. Sighing with happiness, Tulsa and her friends head out of the park. There are so many ways to experience the forest. They can't wait to come back to Kanha Tiger Reserve. They are so happy. Talsa and her friends are extremely happy. They experience the forest in so many ways. They could hear, they could feel, they could smell. They could experience it in so many ways. I cannot wait to come back to the Tiger Reserve one more time. So a little bit about the story now. This is a real story. In January 2017, the last Wilderness Foundation in association with the Kanha Forest Department conducted a camp for 23 visually impaired students from the Ananya Manav Sai Samiti, Jabalpur. The students were taken on a safari and nature trail using their fabulous sensory skills to enjoy the forest. So this is a real story. This association called Last Wilderness Foundation with the Forest Department at Kanha conducted this camp and this camp is not for regular people it was for visually impaired students visually impaired meaning people who cannot see they don't have vision they cannot see so that's the reason if you see in the story they were not seeing those animals they could feel hear and smell with their other sensory organs they were able to enjoy their experience about Last Wilderness Foundation. The Last Wilderness Foundation is an NGO that works in urban and rural areas with children to spread awareness about wildlife and biodiversity and sensitize them towards conservation and the environment. For details, visit www.thelastwilderness.org. So this is about that NGO or organization which helped in taking those kids on a safari. Did you all like today's story? Shall we go through some of the difficult words that we found in today's story? Ruffles means disarrange someone's hair by touching or running one's hand through it. Reserve, a safe place for the animals to live. It is also called a sanctuary. Rustling. Soft crackling sound made by dry leaves or paper. Gurgling. Sound of water flowing. Squealing means long shrill sound. Eee! 
like that long shrill sound if you're happy you make that noise right that is called squealing delight delight means happy or joyful prickly prickly means spiky or rough it's not smooth it is spiky pokey pokey try these questions is there a forest near your house what is the name of that forest what animals do you find in a forest which animal do you like the most and why do you like it and the final question is which animal are you most afraid of and why are you afraid of it thanks for listening to the story until next time bye from soumya